The qualifying race got underway and it was a wonderful start from Jules Simkoviak around the outside at the first corner at Paddock Hill Bend, going past the pole sitter, Franck Pereira. Everybody safely made it through the first couple of corners. A few running wide here and there, but in general, pretty safe. The battles continued as this huge field of cars streamed through Sterling's. Maximilian Buch was on a charge, trying to get past Laurence Van Thor in front of him, but he wasn't quite able to get the job done as Vincent Voss watched on. Andy Suchek was pushing very, very hard in the early stages, trying to get past the Lamborghini of Stefan Racina in front of him, finally managing to get the move done, coming out and down into Dingle Dell. Really good move that from Suchek. The Audis and the Mercedes battling, of course, but Simkoviak was all by himself up at the front, pushing hard nevertheless. He then handed over to Bernd Schneider, and they would end up with a 20-second victory at the end of the race. There were battles further back as the second place squabble continued. Marlon Stockinger coming out just in front of Enzo Ede, but managed to hold off the charging Belgian. He, in turn, managed to hold off Clement Schmidt. This was a moment that Nicolas Poller lost sixth position. Dries van Thor taking advantage as they tried to pass Didi Gonzalez in the Porsche. Dominic Bauman got past Rob Bell, but unfairly said the stewards gave him a little nudge coming down into Graham Hill Bend, so it was a late drive-through penalty for them. But no one could stop Jules Simkoviak, the other HTP car almost getting onto the podium, but Jules Simkoviak and Bernd Schneider taking victory in three hours' time. It'll be the main race. Make sure you join us for that. Simkoviak and Schneider on pole.